Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles, DC Bombshells, Wonder Woman. Uh, giving you guys a little 360 of her. Uh, she comes with three sets of hands. Uh, does not come with a stand, I'm just help using it to help rotate her here. Uh, she also comes with a chain with a ball, or uh, and a, um, uh, what's it called, center block at the end. And she, she also comes with uh, this little... Uh, wrench here so uh the rope or her lasso uh separate but it just plugs into the side here uh doesn't have really any other use uh but uh anyways uh that's a little 360 of her i, I like her little outfit here uh where you see these red boots with the uh the stars on them uh being someone that lives here in texas uh you, you see these these are very popular uh women will wear these uh then you kind of see uh the uh, shorts uh, they have the uh, stars on them. Again, you have the gold Wonder Woman symbol here. Also, you can see the gold with here up here. And then I like the, um, you know, the white on the cuffs. Uh, so uh, you got a little silver right here uh, for her little gauntlets. I think looks good. Uh, the yellow. Uh, I think this would have been better if they would have done this in silver, maybe or white. Uh, would have looked better, so it would have kind of brought out some of the other colors that she's already used. Uh, just this yellow is kind of off because it's the only time it, it's colors used on her. But uh, other than that, I think the outfit looks really good, uh, and uh, you can tell that you know she's a little bit, a little bit thicker uh, than the the rest of them. Whenever you compare it to like uh, you know uh, Batwoman and uh, you know Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn. I mean, you can even just look at the the thighs. You can definitely see that uh, this is a uh, a little bit more of a woman, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, she is a Amazon queen. So, uh, but taking her off this stand, uh, she she can stand uh, even though that I have the the table at a little bit of an angle. She does have a little bit better stance. Uh, just because you have a more flat of the surface here and also here on the back of the heels with the boots. Uh, let's go ahead and take a uh, better look. Uh, look at the uh, more detail here. I like the, again, the way the hairstyle is. Uh, you know, it's kind of a throwback to that era that they're kind of pulling from, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and then you can see, you know, the eyes, nice blue eyes, uh, you know, really pretty smile. Uh, at first, you know, whenever I saw just the images of the uh, face sculpt uh, of her before I got it in, I was like, I don't know if I like that. But, you know, now that I have it in hand, I think it looks great. Uh, you can see, you know, the white teeth, uh, top and bottom, and the inside, like it's painted pink. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the detail that went in, even with the eyes, uh, you can see, you know, the... Uh, the blue and then the black outline and then the uh, people on the inside and then there's like a little white speck to show that it's kind of like reflecting in the light to give it a little bit more realistic look so I'll, i dig that as well uh this hair is kind of a soft rubbery uh material uh here at the end uh, also right here uh, with the sideburns on the side so uh, that's good then uh with the cuffs uh you know this is kind of uh, you know painted kind of a like maybe like a pearl over it uh, to give it more of a kind of a glowy like shinier look than just the uh, red on here and you can see the outline of the Wonder Woman emblem uh, going across the chest there uh, also with the cuffs here you can see that maybe that white has a little bit more pearl uh, you know coat to it afterwards and then you can see the Wonder Woman logo here uh, with the gold on the belt. The white stars all look, you know, pretty good for the most part. You know, a little sloppy on this one, but, you know, you can definitely tell what it's supposed to be. Uh, then the uh, gauntlets, uh, you can see that, you know, there's some nice detail to them as well. Uh, same on the other side. And uh, the, the boots, I, I, you know, again, like, I, I see these all the time, uh, especially if... Uh, you ever go to like the Fort Worth uh, stockyards uh, over there around Dallas, where uh, you know I kind of kind of live? Uh, you you see these a lot, uh, women wearing them. Uh, so as far as the uh, you know fist, uh, you have the uh, two classic fist that uh, uh, that all of them use right here. So we'll go ahead and take those off. And uh, the first one that we'll use, uh, I've already got them attached here. It's kind of a, able to hold this thing here. So you could do this in a couple of different ways. So 
just thought it might be easier to, uh, well, there's kind of one of the flaws there. Uh, so this is supposed to detach. Uh, so like if we had it together and so it can plug back into each other. All right, so uh, maybe I should have went, you know, the hand, you know, a couple more down. But uh, so she could hold this accessory like this using these two fists. It also separates right here. So all the rest of them are kind of a single little chain thing. This one is separate. So if you wanted to give her the, oh, she's breaking it apart, you know, from the chains type thing. Uh, the first time doing that... Uh, it's actually this plugs into there and then you have this one was supposed to plug into there as you can see this one the very first time it broke because these things are so small uh just because i kind of came from you kind of a, a little bit to the side not directly out uh that it broke off in there and now there's nothing i can really do about it they still kind of hold together fine just with the you know the one in there as you can kind of see but uh just something to be careful with uh or more careful than what i was so that's a little unfortunate, but, you know, cool accessory, you know, especially the center block. I mean, it looks, you know, pretty realistic there. So I'll just get a Sharpie and kind of paint over that white and uh, hopefully that'll that'll be fine. But it's one of those things that it sucks, but, you know, I want to make sure that I point those things out just in case, uh, you know, when you're opening yours, uh, you know, before you get it, you watch this and you're like, okay, good, good little tip, you know, just spend a little bit more time being careful with uh you know that accessory so uh then you come with uh this which is definitely the accessory that i want to display her with i'll probably put a fist on this one so it doesn't look like she's just you know gripping air there uh but i think that uh you know that one looks really cool uh reminds me of those uh you know posters with uh you know the women of the do-rag and then uh you know has the wrench and has the you know we can do it or whatever so kind of throw back to that era uh i think it looks really good so uh anyways uh taking this out of the way taking a look at the articulation uh head you know rotates here on a ball joint this part of the hair kind of gets in the way every once in a while you can see it hits that shoulder but uh you know you can still get quite a bit of movement a lot of you know to the side especially this way so if she wanted to kind of look at you like you're crazy or something uh, then you have, you want to be careful with this cause it's plugged into the side. Remember that. So, uh, come in and out with the uh, shoulder and they rotate here at the cuff. Uh, so dig that elbows, you know, they rotate, uh, or, uh, they, they bend, you know, about almost 180, a little bit more than 90, uh, rotate here at the wrist, go left to right with the wrist. You have the ab section that's right here under the chest area. So you can get some rotation there, back and forth with the waist, the legs back and forth as well. Uh, they're pretty tight on these ball joints. They don't really move there. So, and I notice whenever you, like you move the leg and come out, you know, like you have to, like if you just pull down again, there would be that gap. You have to push, you know, push it back up in there. So, uh, thigh cut a little bit higher, uh, you know, than like poison ivy, but I like where they do their, their cuts. So they, you know, like here it's right above this cuff. So it's hidden. You don't really see it, you know, right there. And then right here as well, it's right there where the, the jeans in. So I like that, that they change it up. Uh, so it looks best on the figure and it's not like somewhere down here where it's just cutting in the middle of her leg, which would look silly. So, uh, but you do have the, the knee bends that you need. You do have the well, I thought we had the boot rotation. I was almost positive there. Uh, back and forth with the, the boot here, and then this rotates as well. So, um, anyways, that's a little look at her. Uh, I think all these bombshells, you know, as far as Wave 1 goes, uh, I think are, are solid. Uh, I'd recommend, if you're a fan of DC, uh, or I guess just even action figures, I think these bombshell figures are excellent uh it's one of my new favorite lines i absolutely love it i'm gonna collect them all so anyways thanks a lot for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll talk to you later peace